ITSF, the International Table Soccer Federation. Uh, Table Soccer Federation uh, means that uh, we have about uh, 60 countries, 65 countries playing, uh, playing football and uh, being organized uh, in a competition way. But uh, uh, it's important to understand that um, football is uh, also table soccer, uh, baby foot, taka-taka, uh, tish football, calcio balila, mete goal, football in. It's a very traditional activity all over the world, in all the countries. So we are here to organize, to manage uh, at any levels, for schools, for uh, university, uh, for high-level sports. But uh, that's important to understand that uh, our sports, our game is uh, a worldwide uh, organized game, but uh, mainly uh, organized and played all over the world for, for the pleasure. Sports for all is um, it's it's not a question regarding football. It's it's based you know on the, uh, of football. You you play football uh, since you are young, even if you don't play in competition. So uh, sports for all is uh, is a hub to the to the international federation and what we are doing. But just to tell you what uh, what we are doing and in, in which way we are we are working now uh, to to help some uh, some countries to. To adapt football as a, a social uh, activity, uh, not only um, uh, for the people uh, in, in general, but also for the kids. And where there is something really important for us is how we can uh, support the uh, mixity, how we can uh, help people to to connect together uh, using football as a tool. So we we launch a program called uh, 100 Table for Schools. So this program is. Um, it's quite easy to understand and to make it happen. So we start in uh, in in few countries, uh, like uh, a testing group. You know, I think you you know this in uh, in uh, Tafisa uh, testing group to to go then to go to the next level. So the, the first countries who participate in our program are Nepal, Argentina, Armenia, USA, uh, France, and much more are coming soon. But this is the first one with different. Uh, Typology, so we can understand how does it works and how we can then go to the next level. So the principle are, are, are very very simple. It's a charity program uh, from companies to schools. You are a company. You give away one table uh, in a charity program for the schools. Then you go to the schools and uh, you interact with uh, uh, with the people over there. So it means uh, the company interact with the uh, the kids, but also with um, uh, the people in charge of the school, with the politician around, uh, with all the people around uh, the school. So it means it's a very local uh, program. It's uh, a company at the corner of the schools and the people uh, around the, and families uh, living uh, around here. So that's, uh, that's the first aspect. And the second one is we don't just leave a, a table in the school. We organize a training uh, for the teachers. And this training is really important. It's it is a base of the of the program. You cannot get a table if you don't uh, follow a training session. And then uh, using this tool with football, uh, we go to uh, each goals uh, and pedagogic goals uh, the schools uh, are, are targeting. And it includes also uh, international cultural exchange because, like I, I said a little earlier, it's a it's a traditional, it's a cultural cultural game in many countries. So we want to just let people know, you know, what kind of game of act, cultural activity they, they, um, they play every day uh, during the schools at the recreational time, for example, and how we can connect the people. With. So uh, this is a main program for us because uh, we we'll invest a lot of energy, but we don't think uh, about this as a, as a way, as a place to, uh, um, to develop the sport activity. It's really uh, how to uh, help people to uh, be together and uh, not only the kids, uh, even if it's uh, very important, but also in the local environment, the politicians, the companies, the media, how they speak together. In general, they don't do it so much. So yes, it's an important program. We are going step by step, but uh, the first uh, results are very uh, positive for us. It's not important, it's a basic of uh, our activity. 
the high level competition is the exception. If you go in the street and you ask people, they don't know about high level competition. So uh, we, we organize the high level competition in a very good way. We, we do a, a very, we have one, maybe one thing that can be interesting is uh, you have it in many other sports and we are not the only one. It's 99% uh, of the matches, even high level competition, World Cup and World Championships are played and uh, organized without referees. So it's a self uh, uh, referee program. And that's very important. It's not easy every time, but uh, it's, it's really important when you look uh, uh, your opponents in the eyes and you, are, you don't have someone in the middle, you know, called a referee. So you try to lie to the ref and uh, it changes. Uh, people say at the end, oh, it's part of the game. You know, cheating is part of the game. No, uh, we try to, to avoid this. It's uh, one of the aspects, but um, yeah. Uh, the, the game is uh, it's a spot for all game uh, at any level, so I don't have to explain so much about it. It's a quite a hard question here. Let's say um, uh, the next generation will be uh, will be the next one to uh, to to I hope. Uh, to have a new experience with, uh, with football. This is one of uh, our goals. You know, when we talk about the uh, table for soccer for schools, our target is in the next three years to connect to 1,000 schools. Uh, this is uh, a minimum target we, 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 we fixed for, for our next program. So in the next three years, 1,000 schools means a minimum of uh, 300,000 kids. So it means 1.5 two million uh, people in the family to be connected with the program uh, we will uh, put in place. And this program, again, is not only to, to have a table there, but how to use the table for uh, uh, different interactions, uh, international interaction, local interaction, etc. So yes, maybe the target will be the 1.2 million people who will, uh, will get in touch with this program in the next years. Uh, I would say the Accessibility, uh, diversity or inclusivity, but uh, maybe diversity is uh, more appropriate here. And um, I would say uh, pleasure. Pleasure is important. If you don't have pleasure, uh, then it starts to become a job or, or something a little difficult. So yes, accessibility, diversity, and pleasure maybe is uh, some words there is many others, but the first one coming to me are this one. 